17. The memories of a year ago when they lost the yellow jersey still a nightmare they hope will never be relived. Cinq, quatre, trois, deux, un, stop! But first it was last year's winners, the System U team, who set off along the Schlussstrasse. They are soon into formation. After a rest of only three hours from the road race, the route this time was a loop of 25 miles to bring the riders back to the same finish. If we, make a mistake, we can make a big mistake here. Um, so if we make a mistake, this will be a big one, but we're not going to. So the better we do, the, the less danger will be in the race. Last year, it was the System U team who demonstrated to the rookie 711 squad how to ride the most technically difficult stage of the Tour de France. Then, they finished with a time six minutes faster, and the 711 team were all but last. This time, the 711 riders had other ideas, and they quickly fell into formation at the start. Lesson number one, three straight A's. Right, in team time trialing, each rider sets the pace at the front for about 50 yards or so, and then he falls gently back into a drafting position. With the 7-Eleven team, lesson number two, straight A's again. The 7-Eleven team were moving as a single unit, and if you want to succeed on this stage, this is what you really must do. At the 10 kilometers check, the System U team were ahead, but by seconds now, not minutes. Riding as smooth as silk at an average speed of 31 miles an hour, the 7-11s were gaining confidence with every turn of the pedals. Stephen Roach's Carrera team, the last to start, were fastest at all the checkpoints. And Roach, with the confidence every leader should have in his team, was content to just play his turn when it came. The time for the team is taken on the fifth rider to finish, so this way the strong men often have to wait for the weaker ones. This is truly a team event, and the one the team leader fears most. has no such fears with his American team, the 7-Elevens are doing just fine. Phil Anderson and his Panasonic team used to win every team time trial in the Tour de France in the 1970s, but now they force the pace just to limit their losses. came to the line, the winners last year were on course again for the top spot. They sprinted over the line at the best time for the 25 miles to take the lead. Charlie Motte, the little Frenchman with the big heart, was tired, thirsty, but reasonably happy. The 7-Eleven team were now a lethal machine in full flight. No weak men, and that makes a real team. Toshiba, the team that Andy Hampton left this season, didn't seem to be faring any better, or indeed much worse. And one American boy's dream of bringing his own American team to the Tour de France was becoming stylish reality. Roach's Carrera team still were dictating the race pattern and posting the best intermediate times, and they even looked to be going quicker.
But at the finish, 7-Eleven headed down the home straight, looking like the professional team they had now become. Sprinting for the line, the team finished at a time only 45 seconds slower than the System U team. And for the moment, the second best time. Not far from the finish, the Carrera team was setting an unbeatable pace and would win the stage. But this day was a triumph too for the 7-Eleven team, who really joined the elite. God, I think we made up for last year. Oh man, that was a really good effort. Nobody's gonna make fun of us now. <laughs> no way. No way. And at the end of a long day, Lech Piasecki keeps his yellow jersey. The pole, though, having to share the day's honours with the Carrera team. And Stephen Roach, who is prepared to wait for the chance he hopes lies ahead. Uh, you know, the whole team's together. We're thinking about, we're, you know, we're going to unleash in the last week. That's still 3,000 kilometres away. Yeah, yeah, keep it, yeah, keep it more steady. Instead of win and then get last, you know, try to keep it smoother in the first couple of weeks. Eliminate those that roller coaster and then start winning and then at the last week <laughs> start swooping the dude for Lech Piasecki of Poland an historic day came to an end he led by 13 seconds and of the other stars it really was a story of Andy Hampson of the United States who minimized his losses and was in real contention now